hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's video we are going to go through these uh, biology questions which are coming from the topic called cell structure and uh, organization and uh, these particular questions are coming from the subtopic known as cell specialization right so if you are one of those who would want to rewrite next year 2025 GCE biology, we have already started offering uh, biology GCE online tuitions. I would urge you to begin now. Online tuitions are convenient because you learn them at your own time at home when you are free. All right. And then the good part is that no one would know that you are actually attending lessons and uh, they will just be shocked to see that you have a full certificate when you rewrite next year and pass of course online lessons are very uh, reliable and very efficient because you will not spend any money making movements apart from money for buying bundles right so this is rainy season so you just need to learn from home if you have a smartphone so take so take this as a uh, so take this as an opportunity for you to uh, start learning with me all right so online tuitions for biology is going at 100 kwacha per month so you can con you can contact me on online 77 9241 to join and be added to the whatsapp group all right so without further ado let's go straight into the revision this was question one which reads question 1.0 shows some specialized cells p q and r so this is specialized cell p this one specialized cell q this one is specialized cell R. Okay. Then A says name each of the cells above. So we need to know these cells here according to cell specialization. We need to know them. So cell P here is known as root hair cell. And then cell Q here is known as red blood cell. And then this cell here is known as a palisade cell. Okay. So P is a root hair cell. This is how it looks with the nucleus. Then this is the red blood cell. This is how it looks. And then this is a palisade cell. This is how it looks. Okay, so P, Q, R. So let's move to B. B, Roman numeral one says, state the functions of cells P and D, Q. State the functions of cells P and D, Q. So we come to cell P and Q, which means the root hair cell and the red blood cell. So what is the function of the root hair cell? We say absorbs water and mineral salts from the soil. Then function of cell Q, which is the red blood cell, we say transport oxygen around the body. Then Roman numeral two says, uh, uh, explain the adaptations for cells P and Q to their function. So like we need to explain how cell P is adapted to carry out this function here and also how cell Q is adapted to carry out this function here. So we can say that uh, this cell P has elongated outgrowth, which increases surface area, thin cell wall, and absence of uh, chloroplasts, which creates more space for absorption. Okay, so which is supposed to come here? Let me even change it. Okay, yes, it has been changed. So we are saying has elongated outgrowth, which increases surface area. Then is thin cell wall and absence of chloroplast, which creates more space for absorption. So when mentioning the adaptation, you can mention one, but I decided to put three. So you can say has elongated 
out growth which increases surface area you can end here or you can say thin cell wall for easy absorption or you can say has absence of chloroplast which creates more space for absorption then let's talk about adaption of cell Q which is the red blood cell so we can say that has biconcave shape which increases the surface area for oxygen absorption that is one adaptation we can also say presence of hemoglobin which has high affinity for oxygen yes yeah, so red blood cells have got hemoglobin which is a chemical substance which binds with oxygen for transportation or you can say that um, uh, red blood cells do not have the nucleus which increases space for hemoglobin okay then we come to see which says where in the leaf is the cell are located so the palisade cell is found in the leaf so where exactly we are saying the upper part of the leaf so on the upper part of the leaf this is where you find the palisade cell to carry out photosynthesis okay then we have question two which also was question one in that particular examination in which it came also coming from the same subtopic cell specialization so the question reads figure 1.1 and 1.2 show specialized cells e and f so we have specialized cell e this one here and cell f this one here then a Roman numero 1 says identify the cell labeled F in figure 1.2. So this is figure 1.2. So what is this cell labeled F? So we can say white blood cell called phagocyte. So this one is a white blood cell or you can say it is a phagocyte. It's fine. Either you say white blood cell or you say phagocyte. That is fine. Then Roman numeral 2 says which feature in the diagram enables you to identify cell F in a Roman numeral 1 above? Like which feature enabled you to identify that this cell here is a white blood cell? So we can say it has a lobed nucleus here. So we say lobed nucleus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we come to question B, Roman numeral 1, which says figure 1.1 shows a group of similar cells. What term is used to refer to such a group of cells? Term. So this is a group of similar cells. This cell is similar to this one, to that one, to that one, this one, to that. So it's a group of similar cells, this figure point, figure 1.1. So they are asking us to say the common name which is referred to such a group of cells so that common name it is a tissue tissue okay and then roman numeral 2 says suggest a region in the human body where figure 1.1 is found like the ciliated cells in which part of the human body are they found so we can say the lining of the respiratory tract or fallopian tube okay or we can even say capillary tract okay so in this case we are talking of the respiratory tract which is the windy pipe the nose or the fallopian tube which is also known as the oviduct then the saying roman numeral two three give one function of the party labeled g in figure 1.1 so they want us to give the function of these to my, uh, elongated strands here which are cilia okay so what are the functions of the cilia okay that is what they want so we can say that g represents cilia 
the function of cilia is to move mucus and trapped particles such as dust or pathogens out of the respiratory tract to keep the airways clean. Okay. Then we now talk about in cell specialization as part of the revision to show you where the question came because the questions came from the cell specialization and you need to study these okay when we are doing online tuitions we also give notes so don't worry about the notes because after a lesson like this one you will be provided with the notes in the group okay so let's revise these questions i mean these notes or this lesson on cell specialization so we are using the table here we'll have name of cell then here we'll have function then here we we'll have specialization so here the name of the cell is a ciliated cell found in animal this one here with the cilia like the one which just came in an exam now let's talk about the function we are saying sweep out the mucus containing dust and germs in the capillary tract so let's talk about specialization presence of cilia so they have presence of cilia which enables them to carry out the function then uh, another feature is high concentration of mitochondria for increased energy production so it has a lot of mitochondria which provides energy for the cilia to move the mucus and the dust then another cell is root hair cell which is found in a plant so this is the root hair this is the elongated outgrowth which is a very thin cell wall, with a very thin cell wall. so the function we are saying absorbs water and mineral salts then what features we are saying has elongated outgrowth which increases surface area then another specialization feature is absence of chloroplasts creates more space for absorption then another feature is high concentration of mitochondria for increased energy production so that energy is also needed to move substances from the soil into the root especially the especially mineral sorts okay then we go to xylem cell so xylem cell is found in a plant this is a xylem cell that's how it looks then the function conduction of water and mineral sorts then uh, the specialization we are saying broken end walls so the walls are broken so broken end walls of neighboring cells to form a continuous tube then also absence of full protoplasm which is the cell content which is the cytoplasm we can talk of the vacuole and the nucleus then also lignified walls to provide mechanical support it means that these walls are hardened because it is made of a hard substance known as lignin so they have lignified walls to provide the mechanical support okay then we have also the phloem cell as a specialized cell which is found in a plant which is this one here companion cell vacuole cytoplasm the sieve plate then function transport manufactured food to different parts of the plant that's what it does when food has been manufactured by photosynthesis in the leaves then it has to be transported to the rest of the plant and it is transported through the phloem tubes okay then what specialization features does it have we're saying perforated end walls uh, between neighboring cells to form sieve plates like these have perforated like holes uh between neighboring cells okay so that uh, the substance can pass through also protoplasm partly lost leaving behind uh, cytoplasm strands so the cyto the protoplasm is actually lost so that it can have more room for 
for moving the the manufactured foods and it has just left these are uh, just strands of cytoplasm most of the uh, protoplasm is lost then also presence of companion cells to supply phloem with enzymes and atp so it has a companion cell here so that it can provide this cell which is the phloem with the enzymes and also atp which is the adenosine triphosphate a form of energy which uh, a form in which energy is used in living things okay then another specialized cell in plant is actually a gut cell with this part stoma the whole here nucleus then the vacuole chloroplast cytoplasm cell membrane and cell wall then the function to control the opening and the closing of the stoma here okay then what special feature or specialization occur in pairs and each cell has a caved shape when it touched it and the straight shape when it plasmolized okay so yeah so they have a caved shape when they are touched they form a caved shape as it is and when they are plasmolized then they are straightened and in that position they close the stoma then also have thick walls around the stoma to provide mechanical support okay so yeah we have come to the end of this uh, uh, biology revision if you'd want to learn more on this cell specialization and also join my online biology tuitions you can contact me on the number 0977 you can either make a call or you can whatsapp me all right thank you very much for watching give this video a like and let me know what you think about this in the comment section bye see you in the next video peace